This morning we come to honor and ask for guidance under a new sun and a new day, the new Sarahe. Sarahe for Dene is sunrise. The power of what the Sarahe offers is upon us all. It offers hope and in its power lies a new day. A moment where we all can regain the power of our individual thoughts and understand our own sovereignty and potential, a place of true creation. My name is James Bird and my homelands are the Tabachene and Becaron, Den, Becarec Dene. I am from the Dene Sutane and Nehiao nations. Sene Genene Horelia du Gene. Welcome everyone, it's a beautiful day. Nini Usene Sene Viate Aurelia Isis Chonke Masse Si Gene Ne Dene Sase Masse Yahi Dene That Dene Ose Atle Zahutna Masi Masi. My prayers are for all to remember with fondness all that have passed in these times, and to replace our fears with the fortitude and promise that each sunrise offers a new day, a new beginning, a new opportunity, Masi. As we enter in the summer months, we pray and hope for our new reality that it holds change for Mother Earth and all its inhabitants. We ask that we know our place amongst the creatures we share this place with. I pray that we all remember to understand that our thoughts come first and are in fact faster than light, and therefore guard our thoughts only to create goodness and love. Wasi cho, wasi. May the stars carry your sadness away. May the flowers fill your heart with beauty. May hope forever wipe away your tears. And above all, may the silence make you strong. Chief Dan George, Coast Salish, Masi Chong. Dear Ontario, Cher Ontario, as the sun rises on July 1st, 2021, my message to you is that better days are ahead. I say that in the spirit of confidence and joy, knowing that hope is not a given, it's hard won. As Lieutenant Governor of this resilient province, I've seen hope well-earned, fought for, clung to, deserved. It's my unique and cherished privilege to hear from compassionate and caring individuals from so many different communities and walks of life all across this province. I've witnessed the people of Ontario build this hope. I've spoken to some of the courageous frontline workers and volunteers who've laid the foundation, who've been there when we've needed them the most, who sacrificed their own well-being and who've donated their time and expertise for others. We call them essential workers. I've heard from leaders in virtually all sectors about the work of individuals and community groups who are constructing this hope piece by piece through their acts of kindness and solidarity, empathy and collaboration, creativity and courage. Facing an historic challenge, Ontarians have been writing a most remarkable story together. This Canada Day, let us celebrate that story. Et faisons-le sans réserve, avec l'assurance que nous sommes prêts à tout who import ce que l'avenir peut nous réserver. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us important lessons about ourselves that we ignore at our peril. Most importantly, that its toll has not been distributed equally. The roots of inequality are deep and the fault lines between the privileged and underserved have spread. And yet it's becoming so clear that our future will actually depend upon recommitting ourselves to raising the pillars of justice, fairness and equity to support everyone. In this effort, we have much to learn from the wisdom of Indigenous peoples who have stewarded the natural environments we enjoy today and for thousands of years and countless generations. As we think about how we might honour our obligations as treaty people, Today, we pay tribute through ceremony at sunrise. 
For every sunrise gives us a new beginning, a hope for a kinder and better future. The challenges of this past year will never define this province. For the spirit and determination that you, the people, have shown will forever testify to the strength and character of our democracy. As the representative of Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada in Ontario, je vous dis sa vous ontarien sur le rive du lac que porte votre nom. Que ce matin soit le début de cet avenir. I say to all Ontarians on the shores of the lake bearing your name, let this morning be the start of that future. Happy Canada Day, everyone. Merci. Miigwech.